Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dan Dan the Fireman. I want to talk to you real quick about some motorcycle news. Something that's been popping up lately and I wanted to get more information and finally got some. So what happened right now is the U.S. National Highway Traffic Safety Administration has shown that there's been an increase in traffic crashes in 2015. Now, if a lot of you guys don't know, there has been a huge decline in fatalities and crashes for a long time. Five decades, okay? Five decades of declining fatalities. Just in 2015, there's been an increase. It's a 7.2% increase from 2014. It's a huge deal, guys. That's a huge, huge deal. And from what I understand and what I've been reading is that according to the NHTSA, job growth and low fuel prices were two factors that led to increased driving. Okay, so people having more money, the fuel prices are low, a lot more people are driving, a lot more people are going out of town, a lot more people are having fun driving. It's uh, leisure driving, not just having to commute to work and go home. But a lot more people on the road, a lot more fatalities. Uh, that, that really sucks because what it's showing here is that in states without helmet laws, 58% of motorcyclists killed in 2015 were not wearing helmets. That's compared to 8% in states with helmet laws. So helmets do serve a huge purpose and I myself am against a lot of laws and I don't believe that there should be a helmet law. What I believe is that as an adult, you should be able to make your own choices and your choice should be wearing a helmet. And these statistics, they do show that they will help you. Now, another thing that's happened this week, and this kind of ties into the helmet law ordeal thing that I'm having here, is that there was a lawmaker from Michigan, and he died uh, recently riding his motorcycle. And it doesn't sound like much right there. It just sounds like a normal statistic. But he was a, a lawmaker, like I said, from Michigan that opposed helmet laws. I don't want to get into politics right now, but he was a Republican that obviously opposed government oversight on motorcycle anything. So he was a huge advocate for motorcycle rights. And it just sucks because so what happened was the representative was riding uh, in Michigan late Monday afternoon when a pickup truck turned left into his lane. Uh, his motorcycle broadsided the pickup. The 59-year-old woman that was driving was not injured, but he didn't survive his injuries. So my takeaway from all this stuff is to please wear your helmet. Please wear all your gear. Your gear won't help you in a, in a massive collision, especially when you're going to hit the side of a truck. But it is going to help protect you in a lot of other little things that would normally kill you. So guys, go ahead and be safe. Please wear your helmet, wear your gear, ride safe, and I'll see you guys later.